and for decades a supporter of OMSI. In these extraordinary times, OMSI, like everyone else, is changing quickly to meet the needs of our community. We're creating online content for families and teachers and connecting the community through popular programs like Science Pubs live streamed on our website. Normally we would be having a fundraising gala this spring, but this year we've decided to do something new. The traditional OMSI gala has been transformed into this celebration of science. Here on KGW for the entire community to enjoy. We have a full hour of science fun and some surprises for OMSI fans everywhere. Tonight's show will also include many opportunities for you to help support OMSI. They've created special membership packages just for this event tonight. OMSI was built by and for this community. At this difficult time, we rely on the support of everyone in our region to help us continue to provide our unique services. Your support tonight of any amount will help to make sure OMSI will always be here to welcome you and your family. We hope you and your family will join us for a fun evening that will be both exciting and educational. Soon this health crisis will be behind us. And as soon as it is, we guarantee you OMSI's doors are going to be wide open again, welcoming everyone back to this amazing cultural and science technology facility. Now it's time to do something that we do best at OMSI, science with, with a, a bang! bang. Good evening, and welcome to OMSI. I'm Dale Johannes here with my co-host this evening, Jonna Wells. Jonna, you know I love science, right? Indeed. But I love science even more when it involves blowing things up. That was a great demonstration. Jonna and I are standing here in the center of Oregon Museum of Science and Industry's famed Turbine Hall. We are surrounded by fascinating exhibits, exhilarating experiences, and amazing activities packed into every corner. But something very important is missing, and that's you. That's right. Tonight, we have OMSI all to ourselves, but we can't wait to welcome you all back to explore and enjoy all that OMSI has to offer, from our newly updated planetarium to a real submarine, from dinosaur bones to computer labs, OMSI is filled with educational, interactive fun for the entire family. As you just heard, we have another important reason to be here tonight, and that's to ask you to help us make sure that OMSI remains what it's always been, a home for inspiration and empowerment. Not just for a few weeks or months, but for years to come. OMSI is here for everyone. But as a nonprofit, we also depend on support from you. Absolutely. Your support enables OMSI to inspire and empower and shape our community in new and innovative ways. And tonight, we are very excited to bring some of that innovation and science fun to you in the comfort of your own home. Dale and I have joined a few of our OMSI friends tonight to lead you through some very exciting new changes at OMSI and share in some really fun demonstrations. And of course, we are practicing safe social distancing tonight, but don't worry, we're still gonna be doing some awesome science experiments. Now you all know the six foot rule, right? Well here at OMSI, we call it the two tegu rule. Later tonight, I'm gonna introduce you to OMSI's resident tegu, whose name is Tango. Yes, we have Tango the Tegu, and we're going to see how he measures up, and you're going to meet a few other fascinating creatures. I even heard a rumor, Jonna, about a giant hissing cockroach. That should be fun, so you're going to want to stick around with us for that. 
Absolutely. And as we take you behind the scenes at OMSI tonight, you can do something to support everything that you love about OMSI. And that's to call the number that's showing on your screen right now or visit OMSI.edu and make a donation tonight at any level of giving that inspires you. And in doing so, keep OMSI moving forward, creating memorable experiences that inspire and engage children and families through science education. And speaking of memorable experiences, hey, let's try one out with one of our excellent OMSI educators. Hello, my name is Meng. I'm an educator at OMSI, and I'm going to make elephant's toothpaste. For this explosion, I'm going to use hydrogen peroxide, which naturally breaks down into water and oxygen. And to help speed up the reaction, I'm going to use this catalyst. We're going to use this soap to trap all the oxygen coming off of it. And once I mix all these ingredients together, gonna explode. Alright, let's do this. So I can see why they call that experiment elephant toothpaste. Hey kids, you don't want to try that one at home. Tonight, while we explore around a bit and blow a few more things up, all in the name of science, of course, we're going to ask you to take advantage of some fantastic membership packages that are available only during this program. Your support is so important for OMSI and for our work. Any membership you decide on will start once we are open to the public once again. Indeed. All you need to do right now is go online to omzi.edu or call one of our phone volunteers that are really excited to connect with you right now. That number is 503-797-4500. Just dial that number and showcase your support for OMSI right here, right now. You decide what package works for you and your budget. Maybe that's a $5 a month for the OMSI Fan Package, which provides you with six tickets to the movie theater, the planetarium, or our submarine. You can also choose to start your membership as an OMSI family with a $10 a month donation. This level of support provides two adults and two kids OMSI membership for an entire year. You'll also receive two tickets to either the Planetarium or the Empirical Theater, which is the largest movie screen in Portland, projecting immersive experiences that teach, motivate, and entertain. Or you could give a bit more and choose the patron membership for your gift. It's $20 a month for two adults and for up to 10 children and three guests. Your $40 a month benefactor membership provides ongoing membership for two adults, 10 children, and those three guests with even more passes and benefits. And for those of you who can contribute at the $100 a month level, there's the President's Circle of Membership, which includes all of those benefits plus a few more. These incredible opportunities to support OMSI were created just for tonight's program. And as you consider showcasing your support tonight, think about giving one of these memberships to a special family in your life. Perhaps it's your own, perhaps it's a gift for your grandkids. There's so many opportunities to champion for OMSI tonight. And you can find these details online right now at OMSI.edu. Or again, when you call one of our volunteers tonight at 503 797 4 and tell them that you want to become a sustaining member of OMSI. As you explore your options, keep in mind that OMSI provides all kids throughout the region with access to exceptional learning experiences, new exhibits, and technology, all of which is fueled by generous community support. And some of that support is happening in our sensational online auction that's happening right now, this very minute, at OMSI.edu. That's right, online right now, you can choose to enroll your entire school in an online science experiment. You can obtain a virtual science class for your family, an experience that's sure to thrill everyone no matter the age. Or you could plan for a future party or event at OMSI. 
Through our online auction, you can even purchase tickets to attend an unforgettable farm style dinner with Oregon treasure, China Forbes. You can check out all of these exciting auction packages that are available online right now at omzi.edu. Many of them are limited, so head online right now, place those bids, make your selections, showcase that support for OMSI. Your gift really does make a big difference, particularly now. During one of OMSI's busiest times of year, activities at the museum, camps, and regular fundraising events have to be put on hold. That has a pretty serious impact on how much income OMSI can rely on for the coming year. That's why your participation tonight is so very important. And while we don't know yet how long this current situation will last, we know that your family is staying home and staying safe. And in the midst of this, you might be looking for some new activities to ignite the imagination of those younger family members. So here now, we'd like to invite you to take a look at how some of OMSI's supporters are doing just that. Hey, OMSI, we're looking at worms. Hi, Kai. Hey, hey Omzi, this is Chloe. I'm going to show a demo of how I'm going to use air pressure to get this egg in this bottle without touching it. Once again, OMSI proves that you can make science as interesting as you want it to be and that you can find it absolutely everywhere. In fact, you can find it inside a glass of water. Or is it water? We're about to find out as Dale is with one of OMSI's expert educators and they have a little mystery for all of us to solve. Thanks so much, Jana. So I'm here with Ashley. She's an excellent OMSI educator, and Ashley's going to be doing some science experiments with us tonight. Our first experiment, I understand, is a little bit of science and a little bit of mystery. Tell us about it. That's true. So here we have this Erlenmeyer flask full of liquid. What do you think that liquid might be? I'm just going to go ahead and guess water. Okay, that's an excellent guess. Good hypothesis. Well, now what I want you to do is carefully give it a little shake. Oh! Can you see that? Is it surprising? That's great. Change color. It's We've got like a color. nice pink. Yeah. Go ahead and shake it a little bit more. And as you're shaking, I'll explain a little bit about what's going on here. Oh, wow. So as you can tell, it's starting to change color because in this solution is a uh, chemical that is actually an oxygen indicator. It tells us when there's oxygen in the solution. So this would be really useful for people who are working in the environment and they need to know if their aquatic environment is healthy or not. That's fascinating. Now, Ash is going to be with us all night doing some great science experiments. So I understand you have another trick for me in just a little bit. Tell us about that. I do, yes. Here in a little bit, we're going to be spinning cups of water over our head. All right, get some towels <laughs> ready for me. <laughs> all right, back to you, Jonna. Again, science is all around us here tonight. OMSI has always celebrated the path towards discovery, whether our young problem solvers are learning at home, in school, or wherever their inspired journey leads. And because so many teens are ready to jump into STEM learning, OMSI decided to give them their own center to bring science learning to life, a platform of engagement made possible thanks to the generous support of OMSI contributors. And you can join OMSI in creating these essential learning experiences at any time during tonight's show. Again, simply decide what level of support inspires you and head on over to omzi.edu or again, give us a call at 503-797-4500. Now let's take a look at OMSI's new teen center. Hello, my name is Rebecca and we are in the brand new teen tech center. This is a space in the museum that is just for ages 13 to 18. No parents, no younger siblings. There's not guided classes, it's not school. We're just here to support you to create whatever it is that you want to create. If you want to make a song, if you want to make a movie, if you want to get into photography, if you want to just draw with markers, make buttons, sew, create your own clothes. If you want to do something that we don't have here, you can ask us and we'll figure it out. One person was really into woodworking, and so we figured it out and got some, like, woodworking stuff. My name is Hapsa. I'm the program coordinator here at the Teen Tech Center. This is a safe space where failure is welcome. This is our Makey Makey setup. Play-Doh is conductive, and so what we're doing is we're using the Play-Doh as controllers to be able to control a piano, or we can play games with it. 
This was our setup right here for music. Uh, we've got a few keyboards, some MIDI controllers. You can use them to create beats. And we've got some editing software that you can use to edit yourself after you're done singing, rapping, recording yourself on the guitar. And we have a green screen. So if you're 13 to 18 years old, I hope that you come and join me up here in the Teen Tech Center and learn to create, explore, and make new things. Who knows, you might even find a new passion. Hi, I'm Jenny from Teen Science Alliance, and I do science at home by growing plants. So here are some cucumbers that I have seeded from the cucumbers that me and my family ate for dinner. And here is some squash that we also seeded, and we're planning to plant these in our backyard garden soon. Hi, this is Nicholas from Team Science Alliance. This is a fun experiment to do at home. You can do it, anyone can do it. All you need is a water bottle, a balloon, vinegar, and baking soda. So you put the vinegar in the water bottle, then the baking soda in the balloon, and you just tip over the baking soda into the water bottle, and, and it creates carbon dioxide, which fills up the balloon. Jonna Wells here with Dale Johannes tonight, and we're here to help OMSI celebrate science in a unique way. Tonight, OMSI comes to you. We're bringing some family fun and the joy of scientific exploration to your family as we all stay home to stay safe during this national health crisis. And while we of course all look forward to a time when we can return to OMSI in person, our mission to inspire curiosity and support informed action continues on. Access to science-based facts, it's so crucial as we face these challenging times. Misinformation and opinion are everywhere. And when the stay-at-home order came through, OMSI's expert educators, they jumped right in and quickly posted family-friendly demonstrations explaining just how social distancing works. You can see it at OMSI.edu. OMSI is continuously working to provide programs and services that ensure that everyone can access OMSI's acclaimed experiences programs and classes. OMSI also provides close to $700,000 in accessibility funding to reduce the cost of admission, memberships, camps and classes so that everyone has the opportunity to take part in the essential learning experiences that can only be found at OMSI. These and so many other reasons are why your support matters right now. Your membership donation will support informed action in our community today and it will inspire the scientists technicians, medical professionals, and engineers of tomorrow. Let's take a peek at what some of them have been up to. Hi, Amzi. We are doing some at-home science with a pulley that we built so we can do this. Go! Stop! I didn't. All right, go, 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 go! Hi, Omzi. We're doing a science experiment at home about oil and water. How oil doesn't dissolve in water. We poured some oil in here um, that was mixed with food coloring. And do you see how the food coloring is coming down slowly because it dissolves, but the oil is staying on top? What do you think about that, Philip? Awesome. Member support, your support, provides a stable base for transformative science learning for all ages while providing your family with a great entertainment value and never-ending ways to explore both here at the museum and online of course at omsi.edu. And your support is crucial to OMSI's future. As OMSI receives no government funding, OMSI relies heavily on the generosity of donors, of forward-thinking businesses, community leaders, and members like each and every one of you watching from home tonight to build that strong foundation for future science learners. No matter how much you give tonight, it helps us to build that amazing future together. You become part of OMSI's legacy. After 75 years, we plan to continue to do more for our children, our community, and our region. And it's so easy to do. As we celebrate science tonight, you can support OMSI with a sustaining membership. Give us a call. It's 503-797-4500 or give online right now at omsi.edu. There are five special giving levels. Each has its own benefits, so you can select the one that works best for you and for your budget. Our first level of support tonight is through the OMSI Fan Pack. 
a gift of $5 a month or $60 as a one-time gift. And this is a great way to explore a few of OMSI's most beloved attractions. The OMSI Fan Pack gives you a choice of six tickets to one of the enthralling shows at the Kindle Planetarium, or six tickets to the USS Blueback Submarine, or six tickets to enjoy the four-story screen at the Empirical Theater. You can also choose the family level at just $10 a month, which provides OMSI membership for two adults and two children. Perhaps you're inspired to give a bit more and would like to secure a patron membership for your gift of $20 a month, which provides OMSI engagement opportunities for two adults and up to 10 children. Your $40 a month benefactor membership provides ongoing membership for two adults, 10 children, and three guests. And for those who can contribute at the $100 a month level, well, there's the President's Circle, which gives you even more ways to share OMSI with friends and family. And to make it easy, of course, you can showcase that support with your credit card tonight. Yes, OMSI accepts all major credit cards, but again, showcase that support now so that you can enjoy what's coming up next, because believe me, this is a pretty impressive offering. Tonight only, we have a wonderful opportunity. When you decide to become a member of OMSI's President Circle with a gift of $100 a month or give a one-time gift of $1,200, we have an extraordinary way to show our thanks. Renowned nature artist Christopher Marley collects samples of the most beautiful insects, reptiles, and even birds in an ethical and ecologically responsible manner. Let's take a look at his astounding work. I was terrified of insects most of my life. And then I started kind of looking at insects from that artistic perspective and then saw them as something other than a creature that was going to crawl on my face in the middle of the night. And that really changed the way that I saw them. I'm Christopher Marley. I am an artist, a naturalist, an author, and a photographer. I work with elements of nature, animals, plants, and minerals, and I take those organisms and preserve them and create artwork out of them. Everything I work with is real. We don't kill any vertebrates, any of the fish, or the reptiles, or the birds, or other sea creatures. They're organisms that have lived out their lives, almost always in captivity, and then everything dies eventually. So the options are throw it away, or let me take a look at it and see if I can preserve it and turn it into something that will inspire for generations. The insects are collected, but in a very ecologically friendly way. We work with indigenous people around the world to be able to collect this renewable, sustainable rainforest crop. And they are able that way to take this renewable resource that you cannot over collect and justify preserving that habitat. So insect collecting is very environmentally friendly and, and encouraged by most entomologists. I've never taken a biology class in my life. And so everything that I've learned has been hands-on. It's been in the field, it's been in museums, it's been working with organisms, it's been experimenting. And that's what has made it such a passion, I think. And I want these organisms to tell their own story. I want to present them in a way that invites uh, a fresh perspective and invites people who don't consider themselves to be necessarily nature buffs, but invites them to come and see and to observe and to experience something that is, is alive and real and, and out there that they had no idea existed and they had no idea was as beautiful as it is. To encourage you to give generously, Chris has donated a limited number of signed prints of his piece, Limited Aesthetica. This beautiful piece will always be a reminder of your generosity in supporting OMSI tonight. These prints are limited, so please give our volunteers a call right now. That number again, 503-797-4500, or you can make a gift online at omsi.edu. Science and nature are part of the fabric of our region, and we're so fortunate to have beautiful natural resources a deep agricultural history and an abundance of technology companies and high-tech education available. So it's easy to see how children who live here have a natural affinity for both. And OMSI is the perfect resource for expanding and nourishing those affinities. Whether that's here at the museum, through our spring and summer camps, our statewide educational outreach, or the video resources that we share online and over social media. OMSI is there for you. And OMSI is there for you, particularly now, when parents and caregivers are also tackling the role of homeschooling. Children aren't able to engage with their peers and socialize and learn in familiar settings. And essential workers are bravely moving forth in this new landscape. 
OMSI is striving to provide additional at-home educational opportunities, inspiration and engaging ideas to nurture the budding scientist, healthcare professional, technician or engineer in everyone. At OMSI, we make sure that regardless of background, income or situation, everyone can have access to inspiring hands-on science, technology, and engineering experiences. Now here's a few fun ways our supporters have been doing just that. What are we doing right now? We're gonna do it. Experiment. To see what? If they float or sink. And what are we trying to do? See if they float like vital plankton. Yeah, see if they float like plankton, which is neutral buoyancy. Hmm, what one do you think is going to sink slow enough to get sunlight, but fast enough to evade predators? The rock! Oh, the rock went really fast, though. I bet we have something that will sink a little more slowly. What do you think? I love it! I love it! Did that do it? Yeah. Hi, Omzi! I have been learning about the physics of skateboarding and the forces that go into making a trick possible, like the force of the skater on the board, the force of gravity on the board, the force of the street pushing up on the board. So, we're gonna do a trick for you, and my fiance is gonna ollie, ollie right over me. Great examples of at-home science learning. I'm here again with Ashley the Educator, and she has another exciting science demo for us. All right, Ashley, what do we have this time? All right, so as you can see, we have some water on a cup here, and it is actually real water. Some people think it's jello, but it's real water. No, it's water. And what we're going to do is we're going to spin it over our head using centrifugal force. I'm going to let you go first on this one since you're the expert. All okay. right, show me how it's done. All right, if you want to count down with me at home, you can. Here we go in three, two, and one. And it's All working. right, it's going. The hardest part is getting it to stop. We'll do another countdown in three, two, and oh. one. All right, your turn. <laughs> okay, it's my turn now. Now, uh, all right, I'm the amateur here. All right, so we're gonna. Here we go. This is how you did it, right? Three, two, one. We're gonna go around, and I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Check that out. Okay, but the stopping is the yeah, hardest part. Yes. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and we're. Hey, look at that. All right, <laughs> this is fantastic, Ashley. So, how do people try this at home? All right, so uh, we actually could go to omzi.edu and we have a stay home, stay curious website where educators around the museum have been making videos and other kinds of content to share, so I would definitely suggest checking it out. Thanks, Asha. She's going to be with us later on as well. <laughs> and we have other exciting science demonstrations coming up, including one of my favorites, kids. You're going to want to see this. It's the ping pong ball explosion. It's coming right up. I also want to remind everyone we have a special opportunity tonight to become a sustaining member. For $5, $10, $20, or more a month, you can find out more at omzi.edu edu or by calling us right now pick up the phone give us a call 503-797-4500 this is a special offer that's only for a limited time when i say limited i mean right now during this broadcast so pick up the phone give us a call hi i'm standing next to over 3,000 ping pong balls because i'm gonna do a ping pong ball explosion for this experiment, I'll be using liquid nitrogen, which is very, very cold. It sits at minus 320 degrees below zero. Now, because it's so cold, when I pour it into my red bucket here, it's going to start to evaporate. It's going to turn into a gas. The next thing I want to do is I want to take this liquid nitrogen and pour it into my container over here. All right, who is ready for an explosion? Thank you. 
Amzi. I'm making masks. Hello, Amzi. My name is Xander. And right now I am using my 3D printer to print mask parts for doctor's masks. These are the uh, pieces right here. And you now uh, you basically hook on these little pieces onto the mask right here. And it just hooks on like so. That way you can just adjust it from like each like, little length right here, like the little hooks, to, you know, just make it comfy on the face. Hi, I'm Dale Johannes here with my co-host this evening, the fantastic Jonna Wills. I love to see all the creative ways our OMSI supporters are staying home, they're staying safe, but they're still staying curious. And what we saw is just a perfect example of that. What an amazing way to use science and technology to fill such an important need right now. That really is what OMSI is all about, helping to engage young minds at any age because every child has the right to feel the joy of curiosity and the thrill of exploration and the power of innovation and problem solving, especially here and now when we can apply that critical thinking to solve real world problems. Stay with us. We have some more examples of how our OMSI fans are exploring the way science works. And we're going to introduce you to some of OMSI's biggest celebrities. And I'm talking big, big, and scaly. And as Dale prepares to introduce you to our next big, scaly guest, I want to remind you that while tonight is about coming together to explore the joy of curiosity and have some science-fueled fun, it's also about making sure that OMSI can continue to bring science learning to life for years to come. But before we say another word, we have some really big news we'd like to share with you. A generous group of OMSI loyal members have stepped up in a very big way tonight. To encourage you to join them in building a strong future for this beloved institution, they will match every dollar that is donated during this broadcast. Every dollar, up to $200,000. This is such an incredible opportunity tonight. And when you donate, again, your donation will be matched, be it a gift of $60, $120, even a gift of $1,200 joining our president circle. It's easy. You just have to call 503-797-4500 to become a member or give online at omzi.edu. And again, right here tonight during this program, your gift will automatically be matched by our generous members. When you support OMSI tonight, not only do you get your own family excited about science, you have the power to pay it forward, empowering OMSI in their continued efforts to give everyone access to their fun and inspiring programs. And tonight, can, you can make an even greater impact doubling your gift, thanks to this generous matching challenge. And again, if you choose to join the President's Circle of Giving, you'll also receive that beautiful limited edition signed print entitled Limited Aesthetica by renowned nature artist and OMSI supporter Christopher Marley. Christopher collects samples of the most beautiful insects, reptiles, and even birds in an ethical and ecologically responsible manner, and he arranges them into stunning pieces of natural art. Here's another way to have fun and support OMSI at the same time. And your gift tonight will still be matched. Every year, OMSI puts on an amazing fundraiser gala. Jana, Jana and I are there every single year. But with the current health crisis, of course, that can't happen this year in the usual way. And that's why we're bringing tonight's celebration to you. Again, we still have a fantastic online auction happening right now at omzi.edu, and there you can make a direct donation to OMSI, or you could take part in various engagement opportunities available in that online auction. And now, let's take a peek at some more Science at Home videos from one of OMSI's youngest fans and take a quick road trip out to an OMSI camp at Hancock Field Station. We're going to make a volcano out of baking soda and vinegar. So we have our vinegar here, we have our baking soda here, we got our vinegar mix that's blue because we ran out of red food coloring. And this is Ruby and she's going to pour the mixture into the baking soda powder. Are you ready? Oh my gosh! Look at that! 
Hi, I'm Janet, the manager at Amazis Hancock Field Station. We've been studying scorpions, and my favorite thing about them is that their exoskeleton will fluoresce under ultraviolet light. In other words, they'll glow under a black light, like this. That's all we've got for today. I hope to see everyone this summer. I'm here again with Ashley, one of OMSI's excellent educators. She's part of the OMSI outreach team. They travel all the way through the Pacific Northwest, all the way over to Montana, and all the way up to Alaska just to share science with people. And now we're doing some science, but it's critter science. Tell it's, us about what we have yeah. and what I'm holding in my hand right now. <laughs> it's critter science. Uh, here we have a Madagascar hissing cockroach. Wow, I'm holding a cockroach. I can't wait to tell my wife about that. <laughs> So, um, so I understand they hiss only when they get angry, correct? Yeah, hissing is kind of a defense mechanism for them, so it would scare anything. A potential would be predator off, hopefully. Wow, now I've had some cockroaches, but none of them this big. No, no, these are um, all terrestrial cockroaches. They're not like the cockroaches you find here in America that fly around. These are all kind of like ground cockroaches hanging out on the ground. And you'll notice here, um, my cockroach has nice horns there. Oh. That actually indicates that he's a male and you have a lady cockroach. I have the lady cockroach. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, let's see what else we have. I'm going to put right. you away now, little cockroach. Put our friends away. There you go. Bye-bye. All right. All right. So next up, I have a box of sand. All right, seriously, what's in there? Is there something in there? <laughs> there is something in there. Uh, I have a creature in here. I'll see if I can fish around and find her. Her name is Petunia, and she is a snake. Oh, come on out, Petunia. All right. Oh, she's beautiful. There we have Petunia. And Petunia is a Kenyan sand boa, so she's also from the continent of Africa. Um, she's got this really beautiful coloration, orange and yellow, to help her blend in with her sandy environment. And you'll also notice that Petunia's head is wedge-shaped, which helps her to bury below the sand. So she spends most of the time under the sand, but she comes out to eat and to drink. That's right. Oh, my kids are going to want a petunia now, so yeah. no, you're not getting one of these kids. All right, I know we saved the best for last. We have That's something right. very exciting for you that I've been waiting to show everybody. Okay, so right down here below our table, we have something big and scaly. Yes. I got All this. All right, here we go. We have... Tango the Tegu Lizard. Wow, that's <laughs> Tango the Tegu. All right, this tell us tango. about Tango. So Tango is an Argentine uh, lizard, so he's from South America. He's colored uh, black and white to help him blend in with his like jungle and savanna environment. And Tango has some serious uh, cheeks there. He looks he really, like a trumpet player. He really does, yes. His cheeks help him blend in. Uh, his cheeks actually help him to attract the ladies. Hey, Tango. Oh, the ladies like the big cheeks. The lady yes, Tegus like the big cheeks. <laughs> hey, Tango, I tell you what. I'm going to pick you up, all right, because I, I want everyone to see you up close and personal. So I'm going to bring Tango the Tego, Tegu over to you. <laughs> I want to thank Ashley for bringing Tango in. Now remember, you can invite Omzi to your town. That's right. You can come see my friend Ashley, or she'll come to you, and maybe you're going to get to meet Tango the Tegu up close and personal. It's just one of the many outreach opportunities that your membership and your support make possible. You can find out more right now at omzi.edu or you can give us a call. Give us a call, 503-797-4500. Find out how you can meet my friend Tango. Thank you, Dale and Ashley, for sharing some of OMSI's outreach animals with us tonight. And again, these incredible opportunities, these engaging experiences are made available thanks to the generous support of donors like each and every one of you tuned in at home tonight. OMSI's educators took their show on the road earlier this spring to bring OMSI to other communities prior to our stay-at-home order. So come with us now virtually to Crane, Oregon to get a glimpse of your generous contribution at work through OMSI. Every year, outreach educators from OMSI travel over the mountains and through the woods, through the sagebrush, over the plateaus, over 300 miles to get to Crane, Oregon for one awesome day of science. I'm Ashley. I'm Ming. And, and we, we are, are OMSI, OMSI educators. educators. Elbow high five. <laughs> <laughs> so well done. <laughs> Crane is in Harney County. Harney County is really big. It's over 10,000 square miles. All the schools in Harney County are invited to Crane Elementary School for one day of science. Harney County is the ninth largest county in the United States. We have seven small rural schools 
um, one and two room schoolhouses. We've, we've heard in the past <laughs> from multiple places, it's too far, we can't go. Sadly, we've heard that from people from the state where I don't want to go out there, it's too far, but OMSI will come. Hey, can anybody maybe name one of the parts that a bug might have? Today you are going to be challenged with building what we call a jitter bug. Part of my challenge is using the supplies I give you, it can be a little bit limited, but how can you creatively build this moving object? I've been bringing kids to the OMSI Science Day at Crane for 12 years. And the fact that OMSI will come, that they'll bring three or four presenters, that they can make it an exciting day, a jam-packed, action-filled day, that's a really strong experience for them. I was really blown away by how well done their poster boards were. They definitely are really inspired by their science project and they get a chance to present that. My science project is which saddle pad will keep the horse the coolest? The police or the costume, what do you think? It's their world. It's the things that interest them. We try and get them to connect that to something of value to others. Why would you study this? How will this help? My family and I do a lot of riding around the ranch. It's long day, all day, trot fast, catching cows. Our horses get so hot, so tired, so humanely, it's no fair to them. That's why I wanted to figure this out. I'm showing that the cotton was hotter and the fleece was cooler. Any questions? I think that one of the things they take back with them, partly because they've been doing it for multiple years, they look at things with questions in their mind. And how does that work? And what if I did this? And what if I tried that? It opens them up to knowing that it's okay to test and try and test and try. And it's okay to fail. They're excited to do science and they embrace it and they're not afraid of it. That's a huge, huge thing. So what's this part back here? These are the marigolds, and these are sunflowers, and these are the lettuce, and these are the pumpkins. These ones are strong. Traveling to Crane is really important because you never know where the next great answer is going to come from. A kid, either in the city or out here in the rural areas, could really change the world. We have great things in Harney County but we don't have anybody that's going to come out and do a high quality educational science experience for our kids. To come over and see all of these interesting presentations and hands-on things that they get to do, they, they love it. They just love it. And one of the bugs, like, it has six legs and it has tiny little eyes and tiny little things and big legs. <laughs> well, welcome back. Once again, I'm Jonna Wells here with my co-host, Dale Johannes. And this wonderful hour with OMSI is almost up, but we still have so much to show you. That's true. We still have an exciting new addition to OMSI and we're eager to share it with you tonight. Plus a final big demonstration with Ashley, our most excellent OMSI educator. But we don't want you to miss out on this final chance to take advantage of some very special membership packages. And the online auction, by the way, that's still going on. And those packages are only available during tonight's show. In fact, that online auction closes at 9 o'clock. And there are five levels of giving to choose from tonight. If you want to showcase direct support, so you can select the one that most inspires you and your family and fits your budget. No matter how you choose to give tonight, how you choose to showcase that support for OMSI, every dollar will be matched up to $200,000 tonight by a generous group of OMSI members. 
So let's quickly go through those levels. The OMSI fan ticket price pack is for two people and it's $5 per month and it includes six Empirical Theater, the largest movie screen in Portland, or Kendall Planetarium or USS Blueback tickets. For the OMSI family membership, it's $10 a month and that's for two adults with two children and two Empirical Theater or Kendall Planetarium tickets along with all the member discounts. For $20 per month, you can support OMSI at the patron level, providing two adults and ten children with a full year of OMSI experiences, plus so much more. Or choose to become an OMSI benefactor with a gift of $40 per month, providing you with all the additional benefits mentioned, plus one attraction pass per visit. Or perhaps you'd like to take your support even further tonight and again join OMSI's President Circle with a gift of $100 per month. Again, this level of support provides you with all of the same benefits previously noted, plus an additional attraction pass every time you visit OMSI. And of course, that sensational Christopher Marley signed print entitled Limited Aesthetica will be yours, our gift to you, if you join that President Circle tonight. With the current health crisis keeping everyone home and safe as much as possible, OMSI continues to serve our community today by providing child care for families of essential workers. We are also offering online resources for teachers and parents to continue science learning at home. We saw a great example of that tonight. And again, it's thanks to your support that we can continue delivering inspiring and educational content to everyone in our region. Everything that continues to make OMSI the crucial regional asset that it is, the museum, the camps, the school outreach programs, public and virtual events, only happen because of support from people like you. People who appreciate the importance and the value of science and science education. And again, that support continues on in our online auction tonight. Simply log on to omsi.edu and place your bids on any of those exciting auction packages available tonight. From there, you can select from a variety of ways to showcase your support for OMSI. Again, hop online, omsi.edu, or give us a call. We would love to hear from you, 503-797-4500 to showcase your support for OMSI. We've been showing you all sorts of fun at-home science tonight, but we thought we could take it up a technical notch or two with a little help from longtime OMSI supporter and our friend, David Vernier, who has created a very timely and helpful gadget. Take a look. Hi, I'm Dave Vernier of Vernier Software and Technology. In this little project I've been working on lately, uses one of our ultrasonic motion detectors a uh, LCD display and an Arduino microcontroller. And my wife Christine has volunteered to help demonstrate this project. As Christine approaches the sink to wash her hands, the sensor notices it and the timer starts. And it times her time washing hands and gives her encouraging messages. If she pulls away too soon, it stops timing and encourages her to come back. Finally, if she keeps watching for the recommended 20 seconds, it'll give her a congratulatory message. Well, that invention sure beats singing happy birthday every time you wash your hands. And that's what science is all about. It's innovative, it's useful, and it's lots of fun. And as David clearly shows in that video, the joy of discovery and a love for science does not stop when you're an adult. Tonight, we've seen everyone from young engineers to budding physicists, biologists, botanists, and maybe even a veterinarian. They are discovering these STEM paths early in life because someone, someone, a family member, a teacher, a role model, someone encouraged them and sparked that interest in science. And some of those teens that we saw tonight were from OMSI's Teen Science Alliance, an innovative program that allows teens to get involved as volunteers as part of the science squad here at the museum. We've talked about the wonderful new Teen Tech Center that you'll be able to visit very soon. We also know that those early years of a child's life, they're crucial. That's why we can't wait to show you another brand new exhibit that appeals to a much younger set of explorers. Let's check that out. Hi everybody, my name's Annie. I'm an educator here at OMSI. Welcome to Science Playground. I'm so excited to show you our new space, and I wish we had lots of kids to show you all the fun that you can have here in Science Playground. 
We did bring in two OMSI staff members' children so they can show you some of the fun you'll have when you come play. And I'll do my best, but I'm not as good as a four-year-old. Science Playground is the area for children ages birth through six and their families here at the museum. We have spent five years redesigning this space. We've been working on thinking through all of the research that tells us how children grow and develop and learn and putting that into great play experiences that help your young scientists build their skills. Our new water feature is beautiful. Water starts at the top of an eight foot waterfall and cascades down into a space where you can change the flow of water with Legos. You can pour, spill, scoop, experiment, change the flow of water. All of these are great early science process skills that you can practice with your young scientists. We have our fan favorite sand area still here, so you can sieve things through the sand and drive trucks around and experiment with great sensory experiences. We have an awesome new infant area right in the center of the room. Black and white is what babies can see best when they're first born. So we designed a beautiful hanging installation over the infant area. It is black and white so that babies who are spending lots of time on their backs can actually see what's above them. We have a bin of supplies. If you forget your diaper, we've got one for you. And we also have a better and larger snack table so you don't have to leave Science Playground to get refueled and ready for more play. We also kept the animal secrets area, which is the space where you can dress up like an animal. Our costumes have been refurbished, so you can choose between being a real animal like a chipmunk or an eagle, or you can choose a fantastical color to explore the room in. I really love the beaver costume. It's hilarious and has a big flat tail. <laughs> I'm so excited to show you some of the cool new stuff we have here, and I'm really, really excited to welcome you back. Come play with us. Tonight, when you choose to support OMSI, either through a direct contribution or by bidding and participating uh, in our online auction through the many wonderful packages that are featured there tonight, this is what your money supports. The Science Playground, the Teen Tech Center, the hands-on exhibits all around us here at Turbine Hall, to the Kendall Planetarium that brings the universe right to our fingertips. Every dollar matters and every dollar helps OMSI to bring these programs to children, families, and communities all across our region. And every dollar is still matched. Your generous donation right now will be matched dollar for dollar in this member match challenge. But only while we're on the air. So now is the time to act to support this amazing community resource. Give our volunteers a call right now. 503-797-4500 or go online at omsi.edu. And as we round the corner towards the close of tonight's virtual celebration for OMSI, it's our pleasure to welcome back OMSI's leadership team, our passionate champions of science education who continue to ensure that OMSI is here for everyone, now and well into the future. Don't you all agree this has been an incredible evening? Thank you, Jonna, Dale, Ashley, and all of the amazing OMSI educators. While they put together this amazing television show tonight, they're here day in, day out, putting on the same kinds of phenomenal events for all of us in this community. Thanks to the support of everyone watching tonight, OMSI can continue to improve and deliver on our mission. We have always been a place by and for our community, and you all came together tonight and proved that once again. I personally want to take a moment to thank everyone at home for your support tonight. I've been the president of OMSI for 20 years, and it's been an incredible honor. And I am delighted that Aaron Graham will become OMSI's next president and will lead us to new heights. These are difficult times, but with supporters like you, OMSI will be here for generations to come. And thank you, Nancy, on behalf of all of us in the community. 20 years for someone to stay CEO and head of an institution like this. I asked for the statistics the other day. When you took over, the budget was 10 million. There were 750,000 visitors today. The budget's $20 million and a million two hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand visitors. It is the highest attended cultural and science event in the state. And this is all due to your leadership, amazing board and community, but you've been up front center leading us all. Thank you. 
On top of that, I mentioned earlier this was an opportunity for all of us tonight to help support OMSI with amazing membership packages and other things. On behalf of my late mother and myself, we're committing $50,000 towards OMSI's oh, campaign today in honor of you and your leadership. And I know that everyone in this community wishes they were here to <laughs> not shake your hand, but say hello and thank you for 20 years of dedicated leadership. Thank you, Nancy. This has been a phenomenal evening, but there's just one thing missing. What's that, Jordan? Something that explodes. Yes. Let's do it. Well, Jordan is right. We do have time for one more explosion, and it's going to be a big one. So let's welcome back Ashley to show us exactly how it's going to be done. Talk us through it, Ashley. All right. So we're going to be using some liquid nitrogen, which is a very cold chemical. As you can see, there's a little bit of vapor coming off of this. It's negative 320 degrees. When we add some hot water, that hot water will condense and create a cloud explosion. Here we go in three, two, two and one. one. Let's do it. Oh, there we go. Wow. Our thanks to everyone tonight. Look at this for joining us here virtually for this celebration for OMSI. And of course, our gratitude to those who decided to take this opportunity to become OMSI supporters. Everything that happens at OMSI happens because of you. Thank you so much. And guess what? There's still time to give. Don't forget that. The phone lines, they're open. 503-797-4500. Or go on over to OMSI.edu. They're still going to be open after our giant cloud dissipates here. Get online. Bid on some auction items as well. We want to thank everyone for your support tonight. I know I can't wait for OMSI to open their doors again, for the kids to be flooding through here and sparking all that inspiration. My kids are excited. How about yours, Joe? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I know my daughter Ren is watching at home and we have spent countless hours here at OMSI. This is a beloved place for our family and if you at home find that you have that love for OMSI too, again, go online right now, OMSI.edu. Showcase that support because so many of these opportunities that we're presenting to you tonight are only available during this program. Again, our online auction comes to a close at 9 o'clock and many of these membership benefits, again, are made available just for tonight's program just for all of you watching at home to celebrate your love for OMSI, your love for the joy of, dis of scientific discovery. We can't wait to, to open these doors back up again thanks to your support. Thanks everyone for supporting OMSI tonight. Have a great night on behalf of John Wells and myself. We say thank you and have a great evening. delivery and also take out and pick up. Call now. I'm Steve at Expert Auto Repair. We are open and we fix it right the first time. Come on down. I'm Garrett Benedict from G-Love and we are open for takeout and delivery in Northwest Portland. Call now. Yes, we're open. For the full list, visit kgw.com slash open. Sadly, being at home during COVID-19 can be difficult and even make a bad home situation worse. Domestic violence often goes unreported and survivors suffer in silence. For those who need help, you are not alone. Call or text today, 24 hours a day and seven days a week. Help is available. Dedicated to supporting you as you seek safety and healing. We are in this together. Brought to you by Multnomah County. There were times when the front line put you next for the slide. A mask was just for play. And six feet was an impossible length to grow. Thank you to all the first responders and healthcare workers. 
We're proud to be a part of your lives and see what you grew into. And through May 5th, we'll be proudly feeding you thank you meals for free. It's our honor to serve you. The desert is a strange place. It's so isolated. Somebody got lost out there. A Marine's wife had gone missing. I never expected to be a huge piece of a murder case. My heart just sunk. 